Eh, hola, buenos días. Eh, bienvenido a la clase de español. Me llamo señor Ostrowski. Me llamo Aaron. Eh, mucho gusto. Hello, my name is Mr. Ostrowski. I am the Spanish teacher here at Stellar, and I am also a teacher of record. I help some of our students uh, tackle the challenges of homeschool during the school year. Um, the purpose of our video here today is to get parents and students, um, hopefully you guys are watching together, parents and students, to get you, uh, you all uh, uh, kind of familiarized with our, our school webpage and my personal Spanish classroom webpage. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start out on our school webpage. You can get here by Googling Stellar Charter School Reading, or you can type in the URL, uh, stellar.readingschools.net. Once you're here on the front page, there are two links that I want to talk about in this video. Up here in the top right, there's a quick links that you can mouse over and you go down to the fourth option, parent and student Aries. Uh, Aries is the software that our school uses to generate the official port report cards every semester. Uh, so Anything that has to do with your students' academic performance, their grades in their classes, the grades they got on individual assignments or assignments they're missing, it's all here at Aries. Uh, this is the website to go to if you want to know how your student is doing grades-wise in school. So this is a great link to click on. When you go, you'll see there's a portal. If you've used Aries before, you just log in. If you haven't used Aries before, then you're going to need to create a new account. And you cannot create the new account until you meet with your teacher of record for the very first time. So the first time you come to Stellar and you get all of your books and your materials to start the school year, you will get a piece of paper with codes and information on it so that you can create your Aries account. And this is the place to come for anybody who wants to see how their student is doing in school in all their classes, all of their grades. Okay, so that's Aries, very important there. And the second thing I want to talk about here on the main Stellar webpage is the Our Staff link. So when you click Our Staff, it brings you here to this webpage with pictures of everybody who is serving your student. Um, and when you keep scrolling down, you see the teaching staff, and below each teacher is a class page. Class page, class page, and here am I. Okay, here I am. Aaron Ostrowski, Spanish teacher, class page. So let's go take a look at that. When you click on this link, it'll bring you here to this home page. A little bit slow there. Okay, so it brings you here to this home page, the my personal website for Spanish here at Stellar. And over here on the left, there are two options, Spanish one or Spanish two, depending on which one your student is in, you will click on the link. So let's use Spanish one, for example. And there are three things on the web page. There's the work log calendar, uh, a link to the Google Classroom with a code, and a button to show you the class syllabus. Right. The work log calendar, your TOR will explain to you how the work logs work. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a calendar where your student writes in what they do each day in each class for school. It's a way of keeping track of what's going on and documenting their progress. So this website will give you an up-to-date calendar where you can always come and know what you are writing on your work logs for Spanish class. The other link we have here is to the Google Classroom. If you click on that, it'll bring you to this page. Uh, this is the home page for Google Classroom. It shows all the classes that your student is enrolled in. If you may have been automatically enrolled in my Spanish class, Spanish 1 or Spanish 2 for the Google Classroom. Uh, if you were not automatically enrolled, you can just press the plus button here and then put the code in and it'll enroll you. Once you're enrolled, it'll show up here on the dashboard. We can click on Spanish 1. The front page of the Google Classroom for Spanish is always a greeting from me. I post a new greeting every Sunday that talks about what's going on in the week ahead and gives you any important information about updates, things that are going on in the class. So the front page is always a message from me, updated every week. Uh, our, our message this week tells you that every Sunday I post all of the assignments for the week ahead. So you get one week of assignments every week on Sunday. 
Uh, you can see what's coming up for the school week and uh, you'll be able to participate each school day in a different assignment. Um, our first class meeting is on Wednesday, August 19th. So some of you are homeschool only, and, uh, in which case August 19th will be just another day in the online uh, Google Classroom for you. But some of our students are choosing to come to the school still. So I'll see those students for the very first time in person on August 19th. Uh, between now and August 19th, we have a few warm-up assignments to complete before we meet. Okay. And in the Google Classroom, the front page is always my message. To find your assignments, you want to click on the Classwork tab. So we click on Classwork, and it'll always be labeled like this, August 12th through 14th, back to school week. Okay, so it'll tell you what week we're in, and then the assignments will be listed underneath that heading. And so this week, we just have one, one assignment posted uh, because uh, it's back to school week, and everyone's spending most of their time getting or getting situated and getting ready, orientation, right? Okay, so this week it's light work. All you have to do is what you're doing right now. It says Google Classroom, orientation, and Aries. Only three things are required of you this week in Spanish class. Log into Google Classroom, which you can do after watching this video. Log into Aries with your parents, which you can do uh, maybe now and maybe after visiting with your TOR and getting the create an account paperwork and watch this orientation video. So if you've made it this far, then you've done everything you need to do for Spanish class this week. This Sunday, I'll post a new message and assignments for next week, okay? All right, so that's the Google Classroom for Spanish. The last thing we're gonna look at on the web page is our class syllabus button. So when you click on class syllabus, it'll take you to a document that outlines everything uh, generally about what we're going to do in the course this year. Um, there's quite a bit of information in here, so I'm not going to I'm not going to get into all of it in this video. Uh, the main thing that I'll talk about in this video, and then I'll leave the rest of the syllabus for you to read independently as a parent. Uh, the main thing I want to talk about is this distance learning and blended learning. Uh, thing that we're doing because of the COVID event. Uh, a lot of schools are doing things uh, differently. A lot of classrooms are doing things differently. So I want to say as a matter of, uh, of making things very simple um, is that my entire Spanish class can be completed online without mandatory school site attendance. That means if you do not come to our on-site classes and you do not uh, go to Zoom meetings or Google or uh, Google uh, Hangout meetings, video chat. If even if you don't do that, you can improve your Spanish skills and you can complete this course. So, uh, no matter whether the school is open or closed or whatever things may happen in the near future during the school year, you can always access our Google Classroom. You just need a computer and the internet and everything you need to improve your Spanish skills and to, uh, and to complete this course with a great grade it will be available to you. And I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one support on Thursdays and Fridays all day. Uh, you just need to email me and set up, an, uh, uh, set up a, um, an appointment and we can video chat and I can give you support for any questions you may have about the material or, uh, or even just to chat in Spanish. We can do that as well. Okay. So the, the uh, syllabus is a little bit lengthy. I'll leave it for parents to read. Uh, the students and I are going to read it and take a quiz on it uh, next week when we have the first official day of class on August 19th. Uh, but other than that, it's a resource for you to read as a parent uh, if you're interested. Okay. Well, that is that is uh, that is all for this video. Uh, you'll probably see a lot of videos from me this year. At least your student will. I use lots of video content to teach Spanish, uh, especially the homeschooling aspect. Uh, uh, so I look forward to uh, to meeting uh, you and your students. And I think we're going to have a great school year. All right. Thank you very much for your time. See you around.